day, everyone. We are here to present our selected research topic entitled The Impact of Management Information System on the Performance of Business Organization in Nigeria. For the introduction, background of the study, this study defines procedures that provide information from all relevant sources to management at all levels and in all functions and to help them make fast and effective decisions about reviewing and implementing. MIS aids in the functioning and monitoring of an organization. Effective MIS should ensure the appropriate presentation, formats, and timeframes required by operations and senior management. And for the statement of the problem, at the end of this study, the researchers outlined the following problems in order to meet the objectives of the study. First, is there any need for a management information system in Nigeria business organization? Second, does the status of a business determine the type of information system in it? And the third, does MISA decision making in an organization and lastly, could there be any room for development or improvement of MIS in Nigeria? For the objectives of the study, the objective of this study is to determine if the MIS policies or practices, objectives, and internal controls are adequate, evaluate whether it provides reliable and complete information, determine whether the MIS supports corporate goals, and identify the factors that influence the MIS process in Nigeria. For the hypothesis tested, the two hypotheses will be examined to see if it is rejected or accepted. Budgetary constraints do not affect the efficacy of MIS in Nigeria, and a lack of managerial talent does not affect the efficient performance of MIS in business organizations in Nigeria. And for the methodology, the population. The researchers used a descriptive method to analyze the data that were collected from the SME's owners from a selected local government in Nabuha, North Central Nigeria, and that is done through random sampling. A distributed survey questionnaire was designed in an open and closed ended pattern and retrieved in the same manner in which they were administered. For the presentation finding, this study focused on examining the impacts of the management information system on corporate performance and testing the two formulated hypotheses. Based on the 100 questionnaires that were considered to be valid, the researchers used the test to statistically analyze the problems of the study. Using the 95% confidence interval with a 0.005 level of significance, it shows that the computed value of Z in the null hypothesis hypothesis is Z is equal to 3.2, which is greater than the critical value Z is equal to 1.96. Therefore, it rejects the null hypothesis. It proves that there are other major barriers other than financing that hinders the effective development and growth of management information system. Then, the value of Z in the alternative hypothesis is Z is equal to 4. The computed value is greater than the critical value Z is equal to 1.96. Then it reveals that the second hypothesis was again rejected. It means that the lack of management skills in IT affects the performance of management in Nigeria. And for the conclusion of this research, most business organizations in Nigeria lack management skills in the MIS process, which has been a major stumbling block for the development and growth of business organizations in Nigeria. This lack of management skills not only affects the effective performance of MIS, but also reduces their ability to compete favorably in the market with their large-scale industrialist counterpart. And there are seven recommendations of this study. First, Involvement of government in the financing MIS in most business organizations to promote economic growth and development. Second, 
introduction and operation of a central database management system through which information can be produced and communicated to various users at any point in time within the firm. Third, for the easy information flow and accessibility to all information and users, there should be flexibility in the nature and the structure of the management system. Next is in promoting the company's control of the market, organizations should pay more attention to communication through media agencies. Next is that business organizations in Nigeria should develop, acquire appropriate and suitable computer software and programs to meet its ever-growing growth and expansion and enough allotted time for the transmission of information to guide against error. Lastly, effective communication is included at all levels to aid management control and create a good image. So that would be all for our short review about the impact of management information system on the performance of business organization in Nigeria. I am Desiree Faye Banyaga. I am Caroline Garcia. I am Rizzo Gilon. I am Hannah May M. Marzan. I am Jasmine Yes. And I am Rachel Tolalian. And that ends our presentation. Thank you and God bless.